and welcome to My Security TV. My name is Chris Cubbage and we're at the Perth Convention Centre for the Australasian Oil and Gas Exhibition. I'm joined by Mr Jonathan Shack, the Vice President for New Business Development for Zellion. Jonathan, thanks for joining us. Thanks Chris, nice to be here. Zellion's a relatively new company but listed on the Frankfurt Exchange. Yes, it's listed on the second board of the Frankfurt Exchange and uh, under the German rules there's a mandatory requirement to go to the main board in a certain amount of time. Right. Uh, well, it's certainly a rapidly growing com uh, rapidly company, growing, yeah. and just take us through the uh, piracy protection, data protection type technologies that you've got. Well, in this modern world, with data transfer across the internet, more and more product is being thieved. It's actually being stolen, and whether that's music, books, or just documents. So any IP that's actually transmitted across the internet is available for any hacker. And these hackers are very, very sophisticated people these days. Major businesses in this town are being pinged every day by overseas hackers looking for intellectual property that they do not own. Therefore, they'll steal it and use it elsewhere. When we're talking about oil and gas sector, obviously some of those uh, that intellectual property is, is critical, even uh, at a national security level. Uh, how are you servicing the oil and gas sector, or, or how are you going to target the oil and gas sector? Well, how I'm targeting it is to speak to the chief information officer of the relevant uh, companies and share with them that finally now there is a solution to this problem. I mean, for years and years we've known that of this growing problem of um, IP theft, and it's been a big topic amongst many people across many industries, there actually hasn't been a solution. Well, I can see that the music industry has picked up this very, very quickly, and I think that would have been an obvious uh, target uh, for intellectual property, for those illegal downloads. Yep. Uh, but now, obviously, this will hit all, all corporates uh, in terms of their intellectual Absolutely. property. So we can start with music, we can then go to e-books, and then we can go to the corporates, we can go to national security, security um, services ought to be involved, the military ought to be involved as well. Because when there's any intellectual property, any data that is translated or transferred across the internet, it is available at under current circumstance for theft. How does the technology actually work? What's, well, the technology is a cognitive software, and if I can give an example, an analogy, is that if I was to buy a DVD, or if you were to buy a DVD, there would be one layer of encryption across the top of it. Now, I couldn't break through that encryption, I could never copy that DVD. If you go up to Bali, for example, you can buy any, any number of knockoff DVDs. Right. What Zellion does, through its impervio technology, is to put 28 layers of encryption across the top of it. And for each individual DVD, as an analogy, it's a different 28 layers. And Zellion themselves do not know what that 28 layers will be right. when they run the software. So it could be the end of cheap uh, DVDs in Bali? I'm afraid so. Okay, but well. What that does is it protects the talent, it protects the IP of the people who produce the talent yes. in the first place. Well, it's a major driver for, for the industry when we're talking about the entertainment industry. Certainly. Uh, certainly, it's been a major headache for them uh, over the last decade. So, well done to Zellion, and uh, we'll, we'll watch you with, with great interest. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jonathan. Appreciate it.